Hey there folks, Tornado Twins here once again and I'm going to show you another prefab that you can use this time to make a real-time strategy game from scratch so uh, some prefabs that will help you speed up your development now when you purchase the uh, RTS camera kit you will find a zip file and when you unzip this of course you will find the end user license agreement it's a good idea to read that one and then you can find a unity package that you can import into an existing project or you can open up the unity project that comes with it so that you can see how we used it so if you open this one up in unity this is what it looks like now in the scene editor it will look just like any other game that you have inside of unity 3d and it doesn't look very much like a real trying strategy game however as soon as you hit play and the game starts playing you will see that things start looking like a real-time strategy game because when you move your mouse to the edges of the screen you will see that you start moving around the camera now if you don't like the edges or the uh, uh, configuration of it you can change it by tweaking the settings first let me uh, select a unit by right click and dragging and as you can see the unit now becomes red it changes its material so if you have a character or a tank and you want the tank to light up when he is selected you can do that with two different textures you can also tweak that now when I click somewhere with my mouse button you can see that the unit rotates and moves towards the target now this is a rigid body so it means it has physics attached to it if I hit something along the road it will throw it away so debris all those kind of things because your game is still fully 3d it's not a two-dimensional game uh, so you have all the power of unity available here now you can also select multiple units of course now let's look at the variables that we can tweak I have my uh, RTS control prefab here and as you can see the camera looks at things from the top of course you can change the distance of the camera if you so wish to then the camera itself has a bunch of settings that we can change we can change the panning speed we can change the damping of how it follows the unit so if we uh, uh, tweak that then it follows the unit a little more slower or a little faster depending on how fast your units actually go and then you can also hit this checkbox follow player now this is very important because you probably if you've played a real-time strategy game before you've seen that when you get new reinforcements that come inside of the map from outside of the screen that the camera all of a sudden follows them so you can toggle this at runtime to follow the player instead of having a free camera that moves when you move with your mouse towards the edges and as soon as your uh, cutscene is over you can uncheck this again and it will turn back into a default real-time strategy game camera you can also tweak the edge width of uh, what used to happen if we go here with our mouse then there's about 15 pixels there on the side if I change that to for example 30 now it, it has become a larger area so that just depends on what you uh, are deploying for if you're deploying in the web browser or somewhere on a computer uh, whatever you like I like a larger number around 30 works pretty well for me then you can change the material of what happens to the selected uh, character you can do that and of course we can uh, tweak the player in this case okay, it is a rigid body so we can uh, tweak the rigid body assets then also we can change the speed that it moves and the speed that it rotates with and the renderer of the graphics okay and then we have the graphics itself and this you can totally replace with your own character for example a tank or a miner that sort of thing so that is what the RTS camera kit will bring you it's a very powerful kit and um, we are offering it for a pretty low price so check it out on unityprefabs.com and have some fun with it alright I will see you again when we release the next prefab